In the past couple days, a situation involving the Lackadaisy team and Vivzipop has emerged. This situation started off small, but has exploded, so I think it's worth covering. In this video, I'll explain what happened, and then give my thoughts after. There's a lot to go through, so I'll summarise each section of tweets, but feel free to pause and read in your own time. Like the intro card said, don't harass anyone mentioned in this video. So, four weeks ago, I did a video about Lackadaisy's Kickstarter funding goals. Basically, the show has a Kickstarter to raise money to fund production. Vivzipop and the Spindlehorse team came together to donate $5,000 to the project. Vivzy did a tweet about it and one lackadaisy team member called Z made a snide comment criticising Vivzy in the comments. A Spindlehorse member replied and said that the reply was uncalled for, especially since the donation was a group decision by Spindle, not solely by Vivzy. Z took the reply down but refused to apologise or mention the situation after. A couple weeks later things kicked off again when Twitter users found out that that same employee, Z, was liking transphobic tweets on Twitter. People were upset about this this, which led to the animation and comic director on Lackadaisy, Fable, doing a tweet. Fable basically said that they were trans and that Z is a good person. In the replies, Ashley Nichols commented, Ashley Nichols worked on Lackadaisy, has been hotel and created the honey cast which people are probably familiar with. Ashley said that Z was using the likes as bookmarks and that Z is a good egg. Twitter users didn't buy this excuse and pointed out the existence of the bookmark function. Ashley said that she herself uses likes as bookmarks sometimes. People questioned why Fable and Ashley were defending Z instead of Z making a statement. Ashley said they're scared because of backlash. Following on from this, Tracy, the creator of Lackadaisy, chimed in. Tracy said that some people are trying to fly their banner of moral superiority. In the second reply, Tracy says Fable is amazing and quote, fuck anyone who doesn't know that. Tracy got cooked in the comments after making this tweet. Twitter user Sunday Skyler, who Ashley had replied to, did another tweet. I did a reply pointing out that I was blocked by Ashley Nichols despite never interacting with her. For a bit of context, I had followed Ashley for several years dating back to the has been honeycast stuff. Within the past couple of months, she blocked me for some reason. My game theory is that she watched my video on the Aaron Frost situation where Aaron revealed that Ashley was feeding her screenshots to use against Viv. So Ashley saw that, then went out of her way to block me on Twitter, which isn't a good look for her. I also pointed out the Aaron Comics account has me blocked, which is in charge of Lackadaisy's comics. Once I made these replies, Fable blocked me along with Tracy. After this, the Lackadaisy account started blocking people for no reason, including Twitter users Coco Fox and Sunday Skyler. Following on from this, Sam Haft, one of the songwriters in Has Been Hotel and Helva Boss, did a couple tweets. He said that there isn't a rivalry between the two shows, but he explains that the people angry about Viv donating is a bit silly. Mel, an animation lead at Spindlehorse, and the person who replied to Z way back after the 5k donation chimed in. Mel said they told multiple men members of the Lackadaisy team that the donation was from the Spindle team and in good faith. However, quote, multiple crew members have admitted that they don't care and that their problem is with Viv. Mel then includes a Discord screenshot from Z. In the screenshot we see Z say that Vivzy Pop only donated for clout and to get her name in the credits. Mel says that they tried to inform her and other crew but the problem came down to Viv. That's where this rudeness stems. Mel then said they are heartbroken and are stressed because of the situation. A couple hours later Vivzy did a tweet. She says that the donation to Lackadaisy has been rejected by the Lackadaisy team, however Spindle wishes them the best. One user asked Vivzy if they reached out. Viv says they reached out after she posted her tweet. Tracy did a reply saying they sent a message explaining and that Viv does incredible work. The replies and quote retweets don't buy that it's genuine. Another Spindle employee, Dark Crowell, did a quote retweet saying it was heartbreaking to see the toxicity and passive aggression towards the Spindlehorse crew. One random Twitter user in the reply says Spindlehorse underpays people. Another Spindle employee, Ray chimes in, saying that's false and they're paid well. So with everything examined, it's time to get into my thoughts. Overall, the situation is a complete disaster. The Z person clearly has some sort of vendetta or personal bias against Vivzy. They were told multiple times that the donation was a group effort from a spindle horse. However, for some reason they perceived it as Vivzy clout chasing, which is complete nonsense. They should have apologised after their rude comment. However, the fact that they didn't led to people discovering the transphobic tweets that they liked. As for that situation, once again, Lackadaisy dropped the ball. Z should have came out and apologised. I don't know why Fable, Tracy and Ashley came out to God defend them. It was completely unnecessary. It's down to personal opinion if you believe the bookmark excuse. But for Tracy to immediately write everyone off as bad faith haters who are operating on moral superiority makes no sense whatsoever. There was many Twitter users who were upset by the incident and to see the Lackadaisy crew members write them off and say Z is a good egg just soured the show's reputation in the eyes of many people. For the Lackadaisy crew to go on a blocking spree again just paints them in a bad light. In my eyes, it feels like a couple of the crew have some sort of hatred against Vivzy and her shows. I'm not sure why Ashley and the others blocked me, I didn't even make a statement against them. For me personally, this has soured my opinion of Ashley 
in particular, it feels like a bit of a slap in the face for her to treat longtime fans like this, especially when she got a significant portion of her audience from her work on Hasman Hotel. One of the tweets pointed out that in plural, several members dislike Vivzy. It's fine if they dislike Vivzy, but by going on the Twitter rampage, they're damaging the overall reputation of the project and bringing down the rest of the crew who aren't participating in the drama. Like some of the Spindle crew said, it's a really unfortunate situation because Lack of Daisy is a great show and several Spindle members worked on it. It's a shame that a portion of the upper management in charge have this vindictive attitude towards other indie animations. The cherry on top was when Vivzy's donation was refunded, but they didn't even bother to reach out until after her tweet. Spindle Horse just wanted to support another indie show, and it's bizarre that it was interpreted as a malicious act. So overall, I'm pretty let down by this situation. There's plenty of other fans on Twitter who feel the same way, and a lot said they're straight up dropping Lackadaisy as a result of this situation. If you have any thoughts on the situation, let me know in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching. <laughs>